Saints and Sufis, their lives of simple piety are very much a part of our heritage. at Hazrat Nizamuddin in New Delhi is the resting place of two such men, Hazrat Nizamuddin Aulia and his favorite disciple, Amir Khusro. Every year, their death anniversaries attract devotees from all over the land. जो खत्म न होगा वही अफसाना है प्यारी है इस बज्म की हर चीज मुझे शायद मेरे महबूब का काशाना है मास्टर वाज अ ग्रेट सूफी दरवेश ऑफ द 13th सेंचुरी एंड हिज रिमार्केबल डिसाइपल वाज अमीर खुसरो कोटिया पोएट फिलोसोफर म्यूजिशियन अमीर खुसरो वाज बोर्न सम 700 इयर्स अगो in Patiali village of Eta district, now in Uttar Pradesh. He was the son of a Turkish nobleman who migrated to India from Balkh during the reign of King Shamsuddin Altmash. Amir Khusro was the youngest of the three sons. Like many others, Khusro's father was also a devotee of Hazrat Nizamuddin. One day, he took young Khusro to meet him. It was an auspicious day. The master found a disciple more devoted than all others. ملت کی بنا پر تفریق نہ کرے امتیاز نہ کرے اس احساس دلانے والوں میں خاندان چشتیا کا بہت بڑا ہاتھ ہے اور نظام الدین اولیاء بلونگ ٹو دی چشتیا فیملی ہاؤ مینی سینٹلی فگر دس فیملی ہیز گیون ٹو انڈیا یونائٹیڈ ان دیئر ریزالو ٹو این ڈسکریمنیشن بٹوین مین اینڈ مین बहुत सिखों का खास तौर पर बड़ा लंबा वास्ता है इस लड़ी के साथ ये लड़ी जो सूफी फकीरों की है मैं फकीर नहीं कहूंगा मैं समझता हूं वो सूफी शहनशाह थे जिनकी लड़ी के साथ वाबिस्ता है हमारे मजहब की तहरीक निजामुद्दीन Khusro knew no barriers of religion. He spoke the language of eternal humanism. I pay my homage to the great souls, souls like these, Amir Khusro, Hazrat Nijamuddin Aulia. They have built up this country. They have built up the civilization for which we are proud, for which 
we are boasting today. And it is the contribution of the great souls like these. In every religion we find great souls like these who have taught man to love the neighbor, who have taught man that ultimately love and fraternity which prevail, not animosity and disharmony. Amir Khusro or Mehboob Elahi ka jo ishke hafiqi tha wo ek nahai chandar The master and his disciple were the embodiment of the message of universal love. Nizamuddin Auliyah jaysa peer nahi hai aur Hazur Amir Khusro jaysa murir nahi hai. Khusro was an accomplished scholar in Arabic and Persian. But, unlike the courtiers of his time, he did not spurn the language of the people. He loved it, nourished it, and made it the language of his poetry. Yes, he was the people. He lived their life, he spoke their thoughts. Khusro's Persian poetry could stand comparison with the best in classical Persian literature. His poetry in Hindi blazed new trails. Not without reason, he came to be acknowledged as one of the fathers of Khari Boli, which has now come down to us as Hindi and was one of the sources of Urdu. Khusro's bold innovation was not confined to the sensitivity and range of his poetry. He used the popular forms of riddles and proverbs. They sparkle even though seven centuries have passed. Poetry rose from the river banks, the village wells and fields, where the people lived and loved, wept and laughed. Khusro was also a gifted musician, surpassing the talent, it is said, of Jagat Guru Nayak Gopal. He also gave us many new ragas and raganis, enriching our musical expression. And Kawali was Khusro's major contribution to devotional music. The sitar, which is the pride of India now, and the tabla are Khusro's gifts. खाजा अमीर खुसरो ऐसे बुजुर्ग रहीम ऐसे बुजुर्ग जैसी ऐसे बुजुर्ग न होते कभी तुलसी मीर और मीरा जैसे लोग न होते तो कभी अमीर खुसरो एंड अदर्स लाइक हिम तुलसी कबीर मीरा मीर हैव गिवन इंडिया हर यूनिक टेक्सचर खुसरो वाज नो रेक्लूस अ सोल्जर एंड कोटिया he saw life in its totality, not in fragments. He saw man as a universal being, not divided by religion and caste. Hazrat Nizamuddin died. Khusro was not in Delhi. When he heard the news, he tore his clothes in despair and rushed to the master's tomb. The rest of his life was spent there 
for he was soon to join the master. चले खुशरू करे आपने But men like Khusro do not die. Their poetry, their music, their ideal of the brotherhood of man live on. Of such stuff is immortality made. Oh, my God.